Hello everyone, I am Aruna Punna, working as junior lecturer in botany in Government Junior College for Girls, Bongir. Today our topic is plant growth and development. In this class, I am going to teach you about uh, introduction, characteristics, chemical composition and the discovery of plant growth regulator. The introduction of plant growth and development. Usually plant growth is controlled by external factors, genes and internal factors. External factors examples sunlight, temperature and water. Depending on the type of plant, they may require more sunlight, more temperature and more water. In the same way, some plants require less sunlight, temperature and water. And genes also affect the plant growth and development. Genes means part of DNA. In each and every cell, DNA is present. These genes synthesize proteins. These proteins express the characters. These characters affect the plant growth and development. And some chemical substances secreted inside the plant body, which are called plant hormones or plant growth regulators. These are the internal factors which affect the plant growth and development. What are the characteristics of plant growth regulators? These plant growth regulators commonly called as plant hormones are phytohormones. Phyto means plants. These hormones secreted inside the plant body in small quantities and which are made up of simple chemical molecules. Even though they are produced in small quantities but they affect, they play an important role in plant growth development. What are the plant hormones? How many types? Five types, auxins, gibberellins, cytokinins, abscisic acid and ethylene. They are divided into two groups, growth promoters and growth inhibitors. Auxins, gibberellins and cytokinins comes under growth promoters. What are the activities of growth promoters? Cell division, cell enlargement, tropic growth, flowering, fruiting and seed formation. Cell division and cell enlargement. Here one single cell, this is mother cell undergoing cell division produced two daughter cells. First, these two daughter cells are somewhat smaller in size compared to mother cell. And after that, these two smaller young cells gradually increased their size and finally reach the original size of the just like mother. So here this is cell division. One cell divided into two cells, cell division. And smaller cells gradually increasing their size is called cell enlargement. So these two activities, cell division and cell enlargement takes place by the activity of growth promoters. And usually in the plant body, root system grows towards the soil that is called geotrophism and shoot system grows towards the sunlight that is called phototrophism. These two geotrophism and phototrophism also takes place by the activity of these growth promoters. And flowering. Some plants flower during particular season. For example, jasmine usually flower during summer season and chamundi usually flower during winter. So that flowering also caused by the activity of these growth promoters. And fruiting also. In the flowers, after fertilization, fruit formation takes place. And inside the fruit, seed formation takes place. So in the fruiting and seed formation also, these growth promoters play an important role. And growth inhibitors. Under this, abscisic acid comes. What are the activities of this abscisic acid? One is dormancy and abscission. Dormancy means resting period. Usually, after seed formation, some seeds undergo resting period because due to unfavorable conditions, seeds unable to germinate. That is called dormancy. Abscission means falling of leaves, flowers and fruits. So, dormancy and abscission activities takes place by the abscisic acid. And ethylene, it acts in both somewhat as growth promoter and mostly as growth inhibitor and uh, chemical composition of phytohormones. Auxins, the chemical name is indole-3-acetic acid, short form is IAA. These auxins present in the plant body which are made up of indole compounds and gibberellins, chemical name is gibberellic acid, short form is GA3. These gibberellins made up of terpene compounds. Cytokinins, the chemical name is kinetin. N6 for furyl amino purine. They are chemically made up of adenine derivative. And abscisic acid, short form is ABA. They are made up of derivatives of carotenoids. Ethylene, the formula is C2H4, which is present in the plant body in gaseous form. Oxen discovery. Charles Darwin and Francis Darwin observed the coleoptiles of canary grass are bending towards sunlight. That is phototrophism. What is coleoptile? Coleoptile is a protective sheath on the stem tip. Here this is seed germination. Usually root system grows towards soil called geotrophism. 
and shoot system grows towards the sunlight that is phototrophism these polyoptile tips has transmittable material which causes the bending here charles darwin and francis darwin did some five experiments on polyoptiles of canary grass polyoptile means nothing but here stem tip these are the canary grass seedlings this is uh, canary grass seedling bending towards sunlight this is general thing and in the second experiment the scientists cut the polyoptile tip so automatically there is no bending towards sunlight because the tip region only has some transmittable material which cause the bending that is why due to cut there is no bending towards sunlight in the third experiment the polyoptile tip is covered by a opaque cap opaque means through this sunlight could not pass that is why the sunlight could not reach the polyoptile region and there is no reaction between polyoptile and sunlight so there is no bending in the fourth experiment the polyoptile is covered by a transparent cap transparent means through which sunlight can pass so here the polyoptile the chemical substance which is present in the polyoptile and the sunlight reaction is there that is why the bending we can see towards sunlight in the fifth diagram you can see the base of the canary grass only covered by a opaque cap so here automatically we can see the bending towards sunlight so here in this way by doing this fifth experiment the scientists confirmed that the transmittable material is present at the tip only not at the base fw went isolated auxin from oat seedling polyoptile tips gibberellin discovery first time in japan country rice seedlings affected by a disease that is bakane in japanese language bakane means foolish seedling this disease caused by a fungus that is gibberella fusicola in this diagram you can see this is paddy field the green colored ones are healthy rice seedlings but the among them the orange colored lengthy weak rice seedling is there this is suffering from bakane disease so this is lengthy weak and it, it here there is no production it could not produce rice after that kurosawa name of the scientist he did some experiment first he took the affected rice seedling with bakane disease and he washed the plant with fresh clean water and he cut into pieces that affected plant he, these pieces are grind and filtered and he collected sterile filtrate that sterile filtrate he sprayed on the healthy plant after one week the healthy plants are also affected by the bakane disease then he found that in gibberella fusicola one kind of chemical substance is present that chemical substance is increasing the growth of the plants so later this active substance which is cause for the increasing of growth the active substance is identified named it as gibberellic acid cytokinin discovery f skog and his co-workers observed they did some research on tobacco stems this is original tobacco plant from the tobacco stem they collected internodal region what is internodal region by this diagram i will explain wherever the leaf develop that region called node so here also this is nodal region between two leaves between two nodal regions this is called internodal region f skog and his co-workers they took the internodal region of tobacco stem and cut into small pieces so the internodal segments of tobacco stems they took and developed them on nutrient media here in the laboratory these are the test tubes at the base of the test tube one kind of white jelly like structure is present material that is nutrient medium which is prepared by adding carbohydrates amino acids minerals and vitamins by preparing this nutrient medium we have to pour in the test tube and even conical flask beaker also on this nutrient medium we have to keep the internodal segments of tobacco then what happens the internodal segments of tobacco absorb the nutrient medium absorb the nutrients from the nutrient medium and in that internodal segments in the tissue what rapid cell division takes place. due to rapid cell division what happens one kind of mass undifferentiated structure formation takes place that is callus mass of undifferentiated cells undifferentiated means in this you can see only group of cells only you can see there is no growth of any root stem and leaf only callus formation only takes place from this callus we can see the growth of small plantlets here from this callus only some small plantlets develop when it happens so when it happens means compulsory we have to add 
two more substances to this nutrient medium. First prepared nutrient medium, in this only some carbohydrates, amino acids, minerals and vitamins are present. Then what we have to do? Here two more materials we have to use. One is auxins. Along with auxins, we have to use any one out of these three. That may be extract of vascular tissue, yeast extract, or coconut milk. In the coconut milk only coconut DNA is present. Vascular tissue means xylem and phloem. These are the tissues which are useful for the conduction of water, minerals and food materials in the plant body. These which are present in the middle of the plant body. The vascular tissues we have to grind and filter then extract some liquid. And in the same way yeast is also one kind of fungi. This extract also we have to take. And coconut also we have to grind, filter and we have to collect some extract. Along with oxygen out of these three we can use any one to this nutrient medium. Then only the callus can produce some sm small plantlets. Coog and Miller identified one kind of substance which is useful for the cytokinesis and crystallized that substance and named it as kinetin. What is cytokinesis? This is cell. Cell undergo cell division. So finally one single cell divided into two cells. So in the cell division what happens? First one single nucleus divided into two nuclei. The division of nucleus known as karyokinesis. But here there is no division of cytoplasm. In the next step the cytoplasm also divide by formation of one single wall between two nuclei. Then finally two cells are completely formed. So here division of nucleus known as karyokinesis, division of cytoplasm known as cytokinesis. This cytokinesis promoting active substance identified by Skoog and Miller and crystallized that material and it termed as kinetin. Upsizic acid discovery. Three scientists did different three independent researches and reported three different kinds of inhibitors. These three inhibitors named as inhibitor B, abscission to dormin. Later proved that all the three inhibitors are chemically identical. So, uniformly all these three named as upsizic acid short form is ABA. Ethylene discovery. Cousins, name of the science. He confirmed that one kind of volatile substance released from ripened oranges. At home also you can observe ripened fruit uh, produce some sweet smell. That is nothing but ethylene. And observe that this volatile substance fastens speed up the ripening of stored unripened bananas. And this also you can do by keeping ripened fruit among unripened fruits immediately within one or two days all unripened fruits become ripened because one ripened fruit produce the volatile some sweet smell substance by this uh, this uh, volatile substance only the remain unripened fruits also become ripened at faster rate later this volatile substance identified as named it as ethylene in the next class i will continue this lesson with the physiological effects of auxins. The two marks and four marks question and answers of this lesson in English medium are in the description. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.